as I was prepping all my materials for my final day of 14 days of art, Valentine Art Inspiration, I ended up with a lot of scraps from my textured watercolor and ink and acrylic paint papers. And I wanted to do something fun with those. And I had this idea of just creating a collage using all those scraps and gradually building it up intuitively, just piecing them together until a small sheet of white drawing paper was completely filled. I'm just using white Elmer's glue here and painting it on with a paintbrush so that I can control how much glue goes on each piece. It is a very sticky process, so I've got a half wet, half dry rag on the side of my work table so that I can clean up my sticky fingers so that I kind of keep from making a giant glue mess. But it's still a pretty messy process when you're gluing down tiny little scraps like this. Now I often save my different textured papers as I gradually cut into them for collaging and various other art purposes. I don't normally save tiny, tiny scraps like this, but I recently cut out a ton of hearts for day 14's video and the scraps were just too pretty to throw away and I wanted to find a way to use them. And I think this is a really fun way to get a little bit more mileage out of the fun decorative papers that you may make and collect as a collage and mixed media artist. So I'm just gradually gluing them down, building it up, trying to make sure that I minimize the amount of white on the papers that I'm using as well as fill in the white areas on the paper that I'm gluing them down to. So now that my collage is done, I am taking a second sheet of paper, it's just regular drawing paper, and I'm cutting it down to the same size as my collage paper and folding it in half so that I can make a stencil a nice heart stencil that's pretty big but that I know is going to fill most of my paper. And then I'm going to go ahead and tape that down with a couple pieces of washi tape and that is going to be a mask over my collage paper so that for the next step I can maintain a really crisp heart shape when I apply the second part of this project which is to get out some acrylic paint. I'm using some Dick Blick Black paint and I am an acrylic brush and I'm just painting around the edges to mask out, to black out the silhouette of the heart shape. And what the stencil is going to do is it's going to protect the collage areas underneath it so that those don't get paint on them, which I think is going to have a really cool effect. So let's see. So this was incredibly fun. I definitely am going to be doing more of this in the future. And if you liked it, give the video a like. If you want to check out more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.